everybody, my name is Jennifer. I'm president of the Tarflower chapter of the Florida Native Plant Society, which is the Orange County chapter. And since we're social distancing right now, and we really miss you guys, we wanted to try to do a virtual field trip to a, um, a habitat that's not very well known. It's the salt flats in Florida. So right now we are in the Seminole Ranch Conservation Area. The salt flats are over by the St. Johns River. And this area is where minerals have bubbled up through underground springs and they've made the salinity here about 30% that of the ocean. So um, there's not a lot of the plants that you would normally see in Central Florida. These are more salt tolerant vegetation and some areas vegetation doesn't grow at all. So today we just wanted to walk around a little bit, show you guys the ecosystem and show you some of the really cool plants that exist here that normally would only exist on the coasts of Florida. this really cool nice salt flat area you can see how there's very sparse vegetation here and the vegetation that is here is the salt tolerant it's either salt wort or glass wort and um, let's see how salty it is there's a little bit of salt there <laughs> devoid of vegetation. It's just that white sand that, as we know, tastes a little bit salty. And then there's just a little bit of sparse pocket of the salt tolerant vegetation. And then these little islands that are a little bit higher that um, it's still salt tolerant, but it's not the salt warts and the glass warts that we've been seeing elsewhere. is an up close look of one of those islands that's in the middle of the salt flats and it is just covered in this beautiful blooming sebacea right now. Um, some of them are there this more like pinky magenta color and then we've also got some more white ones. It's a beautiful Florida wildflower. Here we go. So we're on the salt flat right next to the marshy area here and we've got this uh, Cabbage palm hammock coming up, so we're gonna walk in there and see what we find. So inside of the oak hammock, we've got um, looks like someone has set up a little hunting camp here. Um, yep, yeah, some Brazilian peppers and the cabbage palms. Not. Um, 
Yeah, we've seen some uh, a lot of shotgun shells out here, so there's definitely people hunting here, and yeah, that's legal. <laughs> mostly sandy it wasn't quite that salty but we decided to try out one of these salicornias it's called a annual glasswort and it's actually kind of tasty a little peppery and like very salty let's go all right so thank you for joining us today guys we're heading out we wanted to thank the st john's river water management district for allowing us to access this public property and um, if you enjoyed it, please join the Native Plant Society. And thank you so much. We'll see you next time.